Texas woman shot in the head, killed after husband flips off an erratic driver. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis on the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video, we have a road rage situation, which turned deadly after someone else's actions. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AFG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. The more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over, similar to yourself. I'm one of the new subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. A Texas woman was shot in the head and killed in her car Monday when her husband flipped off an erratic driver and the man fired several shots into their vehicle. Paola Nunez Linares, age 37, and her husband were driving in Hearst, a city that is part of the Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area, just after 9 p.m. On Monday, when she, where she was shot. First responders found Linares with a gunshot wound to the head and rushed her to an area hospital where she was pronounced dead on the scene. Zane Jones, the slain woman's husband, said he was driving their minivan when he flipped off a car that was driving aggressively trying to push his car off the road. I looked over at him when I did it and I thought he was flipping me off too, but it turns out he was holding the gun. He slowed down until we were about like that. I'm guessing side by side. And he shot through my back left window and hit my wife in the back of the head. Mm, mm, mm. Point blank range. Wow. The other driver who police say was in a small dark older looking car fired at least three times into their minivan. Wow. Jones quickly pulled off the highway, called 911, but by the time paramedics arrived, it was too late. Nunez Linares, who was originally from Guatemala, moved to the U.S. to marry Jones last year. So she's only here in America for, for one year. And she had to experience something like that, her death, so soon. She was truly happy, truly, truly happy living, with he, he living here. But it came to an end, unfortunately, her mother, Anna Linares, to the outlet. The grieving husband hopes the others on the road may have gotten a better look at the situation. He said he wants his wife to be remembered as someone who was full of love. The police are still searching for the person responsible for the shooting and anyone with information is urged to contact the Hearst Police Department. Okay. Um, man. Let's start from the top. You got a car, riding down the highway, riding down the road, whatever the case may be. You got another car coming up pretty aggressively. I'm sure we've all experienced that before. Those of us that are driving. And next thing you know, my man is all, you know, getting all crazy with it. Most people are not going to tolerate that type of, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you trying to drive me up the road, like, run me up the road, like, nah, we ain't doing that. You know what I mean? So, I totally understand where the husband is coming from, because I probably would have been, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to flip the bull off. But I've been stopped flipping people off. I'm just going, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what's up? You know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's going on? Sometimes, I get a gut feeling, and my gut is telling me, let them go. Just just let them go. So I don't always react to every little situation that comes up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's divine intervention helping me out because if it's up to me, I'm about it by the 24-7. So it's whatever. So sometimes I need a little help to get my mind right and, and slow me down. You know what I'm saying? So the situation is an unfortunate one because this young lady lost her life off of her husband flipping somebody else off. You know what I'm saying? She ain't do nothing. 
she was totally innocent in the situation. And the person that did the crime, they ain't even get dealt with. That's a shame. So, I know mom is upset. Family members are upset. She didn't get a chance to live a full life. Um, her dream was probably to come to America, you know what I mean, get out of Guatemala, and she got here, and this is what she got. It's not fair. Life is not fair. It's not fair to any of us, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, sometimes you gotta take the bitter with the sweet, the good with the bad, and um, move on, keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Um, my prayers go out to, you know, the Lenares family, you know what I'm saying, you know, Mr. Jones. Um, it's just not right. You lost your, you know, your, your, your wife, your woman, the one that you love. You know what I'm saying? This should be a lesson to all of you out there. If you're driving down the street and you're doing what you're doing or whatever, you can't always kind of get what you want, you know, with the way you want it or you can't play deputy while you're in the car driving. Like sometimes, you know, somebody doing something wrong, you don't like it. You can't always fight crime on your own time you know what I'm saying like sometimes you gotta let some of this stuff go like okay he's driving aggressively he's trying to drive you up the road unless he's driving you up the road he's trying to really do harm to you like really get you off the road and probably try to rob you or something crazy like that all right you know you do what you gotta do you know what I'm saying but if he's just driving aggressively and he getting into a lane where you try to get into and he trying to get into and then y'all both fighting you know you know it's like is, is it even worth it? You know what I'm saying? So it's like sometimes you just gotta just step back and just ask yourself, is it really worth it at all? Which no, in this particular case, it was not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Because you would still had your wife if you didn't flip them off. You know what I'm saying? So some of these fools out here, I ain't gonna say some, a lot of these fools out here is crazy, okay? Bar none crazy and will do any and everything, okay? Any and everything to get what they want. So, we got to be careful out here. Now, I will give you a story and I'll be on my merry way. Had a situation. I was coming home. I'm on the highway. I got a guy. I'm riding behind a guy. He's driving slow. I switched lanes, went around him, got in front of him. You know, he felt some type of way that I got in front of him. So then he just started riding up on me all crazy like he was going around me or like he was going to ram me. So. The dude that I am, I'm not recommending that you do anything because what I did is what I chose to do, okay? I, I'm, I'm telling you for your own sake and for your own good, don't do what I did. I shouldn't have did what I did, okay? But I did it anyway. I decided to brake check him. My man gets upset, you know, because he ride, he ride on the side where he was acting like he about to go side by side with me. He was acting like he coming up trying to like mash my car into something you know and off the road or something like you know what i'm saying i'm like so i'm not giving him an opportunity to get around so he getting frustrated and irritated so he slams and goes over the median but you know i had like it was like instead of on the ground they had something that was separating the road <clears throat> kind of like that high up, up you know off the ground he slams over because he had an suv i drive an suv so he decides that he gonna go around it goes over it get in front of me and then try to do the same thing like he was going to do something. So my thing was this. I'm doing everything I got to do to protect me, okay? So now I'm going from, you hit my car, I'm sliding up on you and I'm taking the hit. I'm, I'm just taking the hit. I'm not, I shouldn't have done that, but my mind was already made up. Because when this guy decided to do what he did, I chose violence. I said, nope, I'm going all out. I'm taking dude out, straight up. You hit my car, you do anything to me or my car, everything i love i'm taking you out homie straight up i know how i get and that's what that's what was about to take place you know what i'm saying thank god that he didn't hit my car or anything like that happened because if he would have we would not be making this filming this video okay so to make a long story short he gets in front of me and i guess he calls up break checking me okay cool you think it's cute all right whatever so then he break you know break in then he was acting like he swerved like he was about to ram my car so I looked at him like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? And I act like I had something, like I'm pulling something out on him. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, then he just peeled off because he obviously didn't have nothing. I mean, that was dumb of me to do that because what if he would have had a gun and he'd have pulled one out on me and just start cutting at me? 
I ain't got no self defense. What I thought was a gun wasn't a gun. You know what I'm saying? So my thing, my whole purpose of saying that is don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got a gun, it's not no, that's work. not the way to go. That's not the way you should be. Um, you know, you should do things. You should clearly think, you know what I'm saying? And I know the way I move and the way I do stuff, I know me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm conscious of what I'm doing for me. I'm conscious of what I'm doing for others. I know I have my children around, you know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure I'm there for them, mainly, okay? And then everyone else that's in my life, you know what I'm saying? So I don't wanna, you know, let nobody down. So I'm gonna do everything I could possibly do, you know, to kind of protect myself, protect them, you know what I'm saying? And, and do what I need to do. I'm not gonna get in the car, ride up and down the street with my kids, Start flipping the bird to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, you cut me off and you did this, you did that. It's not a smart move, you know what I'm saying? Now you bring drama to them, you know what I'm saying? Like if you were gonna flip somebody the bird, you should have flipped him the bird when he was in the wheel, you know what I'm saying? Just by himself, not with her in the car, just with him. Because whatever foolishness I decide I want to get engaged into, I'm the one responsible for the actions, you know what I'm saying? So it's not fair that she had to die over his, you know, foolishness, but you know, this is how life happens, so. Make sure you're in a car with someone that you can trust, that you know they're going to do the right thing, and, you know, just know your personnel, you know what I'm saying? Know who you're dealing with, know what you're around, and, you know, make sure they ain't putting you in harm's way, you know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, hopefully you don't end up like this young lady did. But with that being said, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well to be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself, all my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. All my new subscribers, welcome. All my visitors welcome as well do me a favor visitors hit the subscribe button hit the like button new subscribers hit the like button show your boys some love <coughs> every day we pushing for this hundred like goal hit the like button hit the like button there's no way I should be getting over a thousand views on these videos and I can't even get a hundred likes there's no reason I should be getting a hundred likes every single time at least Okay, so do your boy that favor. I definitely appreciate it. It'll bring more family to the fold. You know what I'm saying? And we can keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, come check me out on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter for all you new people. Um, I do YouTube shorts as well. Um, you know, come check me out. Come, you know, see what I got going on over there. Um, I should be posting something tonight on TikTok. You know, I try not to post every single day on TikTok. I try to do every day for like YouTube. And like, you know, two or three times a week for TikTok, you know what I'm saying? I'm not over there as much, you know what I'm saying? But try to still give you guys some content over there. That way, you know, if you're over TikTok, you still see your favorite YouTuber, you know, your favorite TikTok streamer or whatever the case may be, yours truly. So with that being said, I thank y'all for watching the video. Y'all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.